Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're here near one of the stables, which one was it again? Woodland Stable. And there are so many things I want to do. I don't want to do any of the main quest stuff. I, I don't want to go to Rito Village or the Gorons or the Zoras or any of that or the Gerudo. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to keep exploring around the place. And what I'd really like to do is go up to Akala to see Terrytown. I want to see how that place has changed. And also, I want to get up onto the Great Plateau, which ought to be, like, right about here on the map. And while we're at it, I know that there's a great fairy up here. I also would really like to uh, take care of Lookout Landing, keep building that place up. Because it looks like there's going to be a lot of useful services there, particularly, you know, a, a stables where I can get my horses and all that nice centralized location where I can just uh, take and leave my horses. Hmm, lots of wild boars down there. And there's another great fairy fountain. I wonder what this one wants. The last one wanted a drum beat. What does this fairy want to be convinced to come back out? The military training camp. They're in Breath of the Wild, one of the um, what were they? What were they called? The uh, the Sheikah Towers was at this location. Not exactly where I'm standing, a bit further up that way, but still, yeah, this was the location of one of the towers. I know what you are, monster. You've come for my blessing of clothing enhancement. I've heard this land is now smothered in gloom and overrun with monsters. Oh, oh, I'll never hear a musical troop pass by again in the sweet notes of its violin player. I'm staying sealed up in my flower bud for the rest of eternity or until I hear a violin in the world once more. I came here to be close to a stable where I could offer my blessings to travelers. But now, until I hear a violin played by a musician in a troop, I can't bear the thought of ever going outside ever again. There happens to be a violin player down there at the stable. Her name is Violin. And there's a guy with her who's simply called Maestro. Didn't look like a musician. But maybe with his help I could gather a troop of musicians? I mean, Pura has a, a recorder. And then his... Uh, partner there has a violin. Is that a monster? No, it's just a tree. I thought maybe it was a a um, Lizalfos. Lots of butterflies just flew away. <laughs> More bugs, please? Uh, those are just darners. I don't really need darners. I was hoping for butterflies. Ah, and this is the... Uh, the goop, the mud, 
In Breath of the Wild, I could get across this place by uh, the Cryonis room. Raising up uh, ice blocks. I do not have that power in this game. My only choice would be to make bridges somehow. Is that a treasure chest? That looks like a treasure chest. Well, it's so nice to have the paraglider back at last. Looks like a really rusted up treasure chest. No. There we go. Doesn't look so rusted now that I got it out of the ground. A soldier's bow. Huh. Hmm. What should I get rid of? The old wooden bow? Sure. Oh, those are birds. Never mind. I thought maybe they were frogs. Ooh. Ah, he didn't see me. going to come back this way? Ah, forget it. This is boring. Okay, so... There are a few things I could do down here. Let's go do them. Those two colored pins I put on the map, I'm pretty sure those are shrines. I can go take care of them. Hmm. And the way that it moves me moves my marker around on the map like that when I fast travel, that's kind of neat. Okay, let's see here. Which one should I go to first? Yeah, I guess this way. You know, without all the guardians and whatnot, this place is kind of empty. All the guardians and Ganon goop from Breath of the Wild. It's like there's nothing here anymore. Building materials. Uh, a lizard I could have gotten but missed. Building materials and a boar. Let's see. And in Breath of the Wild, there's a treasure chest in this ruined house. Okay, not here, just a couple mushrooms. Oh, we're about to have a lightning storm. Oh dear. This is bad. A lightning storm. Uh, what else? Long stick stick. Well, I hear some zap thing. getting away from that rusty shield. Alright, where's the... Oh, it's way over this way. There it is. 
Wow, this is further away than I thought. <clears throat> um. Okay, the construct bows don't draw lightning. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a lot further away than I thought it was. A lot further away, wow. Another one off in the distance that way. Hey nature, will you zap those book opens for me? You got really close that last time. I guess that's too much to ask. Farmer's hoe that I saw there. Oh, there's someone fighting off in the distance. Oh, I'm sure he can handle himself. Yami Yo Shrine. Yeah, this was a lot further away than I anticipated. Two-handed excavation. When you want to dig through sediment or break one. Goes by so fast. Combat training. More combat training? Fabulous. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Okay. Hmm. Throw material. Hold R to get ready. Push up, hold, and select the material. Okay, let's... Since that seems to be what I've got here. Well done. Is that really all? Watch the enemy's movements carefully, then throw the material at them. Okay, now he's going to start moving back and forth. Tagged me. You've proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. All right. Replenish some of the fire fruits I threw, and get a few more besides. Why not, eh? That was actually useful information. being able to throw that stuff. Now I know how to throw bomb flowers, for example. Mm, I don't really want another construct bow, but that Zonite sword, that might come in handy. Oh, I don't want to drop the torch. Hmm.
Uh, you know what? I can live without this. Thick stick broadsword. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. Please not be a weapon. Bomb flowers, okay. Obviously, throwing bomb flowers is a good way to blow stuff up, as long as it's not raining, probably. Visitor to the shrine, yada yada yada. Let's skip this. Oh, I can get another stamina bit. And then, made the light, blah blah blah, skip. Thank you. If you approach a wild horse while holding food, the horse may eat it out of your hands. Wild horses that you have fed will be less anxious and prone to flee from your advance. That's new. Okay, and there was a guy fighting? Yeah, still there. Let's see if I can get there. Hey, it's a Goron. You're not going to help that guy? I made a simple hammer. Hey, don't it feel like it's been one weird thing after another since the upheaval? Huh? Yeah. That's a good way to put it. The other day, my precious hammer that I've loved and cared for since, well, since forever, just up and rotted. It was beyond fixing, so I slapped a rock onto a wooden stick and had me a new hammer. It might not be pretty, but it beats a rotten old hammer any day of the week. Well, how about you use it to come help me save this guy? Oh, um, not guy. It's a Gerudo. <laughs> she had it. Focus shield. You all right? Saba, Saba. So we meet again. Ah. The work of a dedicated treasure hunter never ends, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm. Lately, I've been really interested in the rubble and stones falling from the sky. I've been dream I've even been dreaming about them. My latest dream? Hmm. Uh. The big stone came tumbling out of the sky and hit the ground, and then suddenly started to float back upward. I grabbed onto it, and before I knew it, I had arrived in an island in the sky full of treasure. Can you imagine? Anyway, that was basically the whole dream. Too good to be true, of course. Why would I dream about a falling stone flying back up into the sky? Dreams are so strange. I better get going, but I hope we meet again. Sell so Orc. More fire fruits. And apples. On the tree, Link. There we go. Hmm. What's up with that enemy camp? It's on top of a stone mountain. And what are these apple trees doing here? I don't remember this from the first game. Look at this tree. Lots of apples. Two of them golden apples. Oh, come on. There we go. Eh, I don't want to get too distracted here with apples. 
This one's most of these are almost too high to grab. Anyway. Applian Forest. Really? Huh. I do not remember that at all from the previous game. Hmm. Mabe Prairie. <laughs> now that's an interesting coincidence. I literally just finished The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening with Mabe Village and all that. Well, anyway. So, yeah, these are further out than they look. Let's try to find, let's try to get to the other one. It's further out than I expected it would. It would be. But. You know, every journey starts with a single step, right? Okay, and that must be it right there in the distance. about to say why is why does it look like there's a fire or something here there's an in-use cooking pot Hyrule herbs those are useful for cooking What are you doing? Focus on the stupid guy. Ugh. I really hate it when that happens. He just keeps on swinging at the wrong thing. these again? Dazzle fruit. Dazzle fruit. A fruit charged with powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparkles that blind any monsters nearby. Okay. So I could throw it at someone or I could fuse it to a, a weapon or shield and uh, hit them with it. Okay, am I still going the correct direction? I think I am. Lizard. And that looks like mushrooms of some sort. Nope, these are peppers. If I ever need warmth providing food. Aha. Ruby, okay. Now then, where was that? There's the shrine. Hmm, kind of on top of a bluff there. 
Okay, those are that's a herd of deer. <laughs> I was thinking that they were some moblins or something. Let's get a better look. Okay, that's kind of an unusual spot. Sitting on top of that rock. over there. Hmm. Okay, this actually is not attached to that rock. Let's see. What would be the best way to get up there? items to pick up. Okay, a few, yeah. care about those guys. Oh. Does one of them have a bow? What? Ow! Where are they? Let's see here. Come on, where was that? There it is. No, that's a piece of flint. Here we go, key swing. Darn it, that should have hit him right in the head. There we go. Come on. Aim properly. Annoying. Ishodag Shrine. Okay, so I got these markers off of my map at least. device.
There we go. Okay, might as well bring along multiples. Boy, it fell really fast. I get a feeling I know how to do this already. Boy, that is going to plague me for the entire game, I think. Because I was standing on it, it. Well, that's annoying. Now what? Okay, hopefully, a uh, boat with just a single motor can suffice. sword just broke. Okay. That seems to have done the trick. Okay, so as I was saying... I'm pretty sure I already know how to do this. Oh, what's that over there? If I grab the treasure chest specifically...
Okay. I'll leave that alone. And then... Using my uh, makeshift elevator. Can't get it. Okay. Perfect. And now... Oh. Get on there, Link. Thank you. Uh, not quite enough to get me up. Which is fine, because I wanted to get my arrow here. Back up we go. Alright, gotta check around back. Nope. Okay. Alright, skip. Thank you. Skip this next part too. Thank you. If a location stands out to you while looking at your map, it's usually worth investigating. Alright. Now then. Misko's treasure, shock resistant outfit. Hmm. I'm sure that somewhere in here I saw the tower that's supposed to let me draw in the map. You know what, let's go get sweet roll. from a torch in hand will not be extinguished as long as it remains dry. Let's see, is that the tower for the area? I thought I saw it over here. That one's way too distant, that tower off there. believe that's the one I'm looking for though. Okay, which region is that in? No, that's the next one over. I need the one over here. And that one looks way too far away. Yeah. Wait, that's the Gerudo area tower. Oh. Okay, but where's the tower? Oh, that... Those two beams of light there, that must be it. Okay, as I was saying, let's go get Sweet Roll. Oh. Mm. with the towing harness? Fine as is, but thank you. Mm. Okay, Kakarito Village. Yada, yada, yada. Yep. 
Excuse me, daughter. Stick to the road for now, sweet roll. That must be the area tower right ahead. friend be uh, I do not see a plume of smoke anywhere conveniently nearby okay certain ingredients give elixirs of dishes special properties but don't use more than one different property in the same dish. Slash elixir. Wait, what? More? Throwing? Okay, this one's throwing weapons, is it? my instruction blah 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 same as last time steady your aim then throw the weapon at the enemy your other attacks are ineffective here okay okay press and hold R then release Well done. Watch the enemy's movements and throw the weapon carefully. Alright, same as before. Got him right in motion. You've proven your mastery, proceed to the innermost chamber, yada yada yada. I think I even managed to knock him off the platform. Another Zonite sword, okay. Huh. That's two of those I got now. Rusty broadsword, broadsword. <laughs> Zonite powered sturdy stick sword. Not another weapon, please. Last time he gave me some bomb flowers. Uh, Zonite spear. Oh, wait a second. I had space for it, did I? Yeah, that's cool. Sort by type, by type, by type, okay. Okay, skip. All right, so far so good. Skip. Yep. 
shield surfing. If you jump while your shield is out, you can climb aboard it using A. This will knock some durability off the shield, but it's an effective way to travel downhill quickly. Are you a merchant? Hi. What's going on? You looking for someone to talk to? Hey, that's fine by me. Let's talk. Ah. Seems like a number of unusual ruins fell at Kakariko Village to the east. I'm going there to investigate. But a traveler type like you might want to check it out, see the sights, that sort of thing. That's all you got? No problem. Okay. Is, is his friend going to be up there? Oh, my friend and I got separated. friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though. I can't move. Okay. Hmm. Uh, there's a cork here. So... That's where Misko's stuff is. There is some breakable rocks right there. Let's see, do I have a stone weapon? I do! Excellent. Huh. Whistling Hill Cave. Go stuff B. What? Oh. Electric Keys Eyeball. Viewed with electric power, but if you attach it to an arrow, it just makes a homing arrow like normal key eyeball. A rare electric key swing is electrically charged and will shock everything around it when stimulated. A sapphire and two ambers. Some rock salt. Opal and amber. Okay. It's a pretty good haul. One of those sticky lizard things. Yes. I didn't even remember that it was called sticky lizard. I just knew that it was sticky and it was a lizard. A truffle. Okay. Hmm. This is getting. Deeper than I expected. I know those guys are going to come to life, I just know it. Just 
Stop moving. Don't aim properly, you stupid controller. Ah! Claymore, Rusty Halberd. Poco Bow, okay. Don't need that. But at least now I know what it is. Should I encounter it again? Amber and rock salt. Looks like where I need to go now. I'm kind of curious what's up here. Oh. Is that a like-like? Yep, that's a like-like. That's not fair. Uh, where were they? There they are. Stop that! Oh darn it, I don't have a bow. Um, that like like stone or whatever go well rolled all the way down there okay back up Okay. Better than a sharp poke in the eye. Boy, this cave goes forever. And there's another direction down there that I haven't tried yet. and an amber, okay. Hit. 
Another like like. Terrific. Uh, let's see. to hit the water with that stuff. Okay, let's get the heck out of the way. Do it? No. That do it? Yes. Shock fruit. Shock like stone. A shock like, huh? And. There's the treasure chest I was going to say. Where to go? It was kind of blending in. A soldier shield, huh? Yeah, let's drop the rusty shield. And it occurs to me... Okay, I was thinking I could fuse the treasure chest. Double shield! So, there's still an entire direction back there that I've not bothered to go. But the fact that I encountered that shock-like here makes me think that this might be where I go to get the uh, electric suppressing armor. Do it with an arrow and a bomb fruit. Pick those up. Yeah, there we go. Bomb flower, not bomb fruit. Anyway, yes. Uh, I thought I heard something, lots of little footsteps up there, but it was that fire burning. <laughs> Okay. Sapphire. Ooh. Rubber armor. This armor has built in electricity resistance thanks to a source material, an ancient marvel called rubber. Such technology does not exist in this modern age. Okay. else in here? All right. So. That got the item I was searching for, but there's that other tunnel across the way covered by vines. What do 
I got that can cut? Not very much. Just a giant bright bloom seed and this. Okay. Another soldier shield, huh? Okay. And now... Not the stone. The shield. On the other shield. Double shield! So I got two double shields. Maybe I shouldn't have made those two jumps up the wall. Eh, uh, I'll make it. Okay, got the stamina back. Whew. Okay. And weren't we told once that all of these caves have one of those bubble frogs in them? Didn't find a bubble frog in here. Sweet roll. Miss me? Good horse. I wonder which dragon that is. I can't tell from a distance. Okay, that's... Yep, that's in this area here. That's the one I'm looking for. Looks like it's surrounded by an enemy encampment. That's going to be inconvenient. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Whoa. I keep being worried that those things might land on me. What do Sunday Lions do again? Fix up gloom. Okay. Oops. Did not want to do that. Hmm. Why would they make one of these towers of theirs inside an enemy encampment? Or did they make the tower and then the enemies invaded later? Kind of careless either way. No, maybe it's my imagination, 
But this is looking a lot like that enemy encampment that was in the demo that a lot of people were allowed to play. And a lot of social media influencers got their hands on a demo and it looked a lot like this. Turn around. Thank you. way is he facing? I wish I could see it from down here. Because if I could, then I could use a send to just go right up behind him. Come on. Got some explosive barrels there. see them from this distance. I can't quite see them from here. Turn around, turn around, look the other way, then I'll ascend up there, 
There we go. <laughs> well, that didn't quite work. Okay, where? It's up there. first bit worked pretty well. He's looking right in my direction. I'll turn around a bit more. There we go. Barely got him. Okay, I want to do that. The problem with it being raining is that those uh, barrels will not blow up. I don't think they will. Or maybe they... If I were to hit them with a fire fruit, maybe. I wonder, can I bait the moblin to throw one of them at me? I do that. Boy, the rain must be really covering up the sound if he didn't even notice me there. Stopping. Can I? If he sees me, will he throw one of those barrels at me? If he does, then I can just use the uh, recall ability to send it right back at him.
Guts. This elder is too pungent for normal food preparation. <laughs> Blue moblin horn. Moblin fang. Okay. Alright, that worked out much better. And now, since I have recall pre selected. Try it, I dare ya. the torch. Might have to, though. Okay, what was that blue bokoblin down below wielding? A stick of some sort. <sighs> Sturdy wooden stick. Okay. We're both on fire. And now I'm pretty badly hurt. Still worked out. Just go. 
Kabloosh. Great Plateau down there. Only which direction is it? It looks like it's to my left from where I'm facing. eating up my stamina pretty quickly. I do have stamina restoring items, fortunately. And there's that water right below me. Oh, man. Okay, stamina. Um... This'll do. Who needs to reach his friend? I do not see a plume of smoke. Ah, my friend and I got separated. Boy, I can hardly see it. Anything with these? Let's see. Yep. Look like some kind of control yeah. stand. That's all fine and well, but I don't have... I don't have anything to put them on. Let's see. What kind of monster is that? Looks like a Bokoblin.
looks like an armored Bokoblin of some sort. Cobalt horn, a vicious three-pronged horn, and weapon burning. What is this? Ah, a Cobalt guts. It convulses on its own every now and then, which is really creepy, but perhaps it has a use. Okay, got him out of my way. Dirty wooden stick, okay. I didn't realize I had enough space to carry another item, another weapon. I don't need to fuse, I need to alter hand. Now where was his friend? There was a plume of smoke kind of sort of up here. over there? Uh, I really can't see very far while I'm carrying this guy. Oh, darn it. And that's the problem. That's why that's a problem. Enemies. Okay, where was that plume of smoke? I've lost track of it. Where was that 
Oh, there it is. Another golden apple? Wait, is that a golden apple? No, that's a regular apple. Now oh, this brings back memories. This is where I first met Anti Claus, as I was calling him. <laughs> I could fuse him to an apple if I wanted to. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Okay. Bye! Yeah, I made it thanks to you. A bloopy. And a beetle. Is it? Nope. Way back to the start. What does this place look like now, I wonder? It looks a lot more grown. Oh, there's one of these guys here, is there? a lot more dirty and overgrown than it did before. Uh-oh. Yiga clan symbols. Is that one of those helpful constructs? Looks like one of them. Let's not go straight through the center of the room though. I must protect myself. not talking to me. Okay. Hmm. Not too thrilled to be here. Those bananas in the middle of the room <laughs> look like an obvious trap. Looks like I need to burn that scroll and it'll reveal another tunnel. Yeah, this can wait. I don't feel like dealing with it right now.
Where did that light come, suddenly come from? How did this place get so much more run down than it was before? That seems odd. Unless those Yiga people desecrated it or something. been a really long episode but I think it's actually about time to end though I wish I could find a shrine first and then I would be able to and come back here anytime I wanted Another temple of time. Hmm. I wonder which temple of time came first, the Zonai one up on the Great Sky Island, or the Hylian one, Hylian one here. All of the wrecked guardians that used to be here are gone now. That seems kind of odd. there were like arrows at least. <laughs> well how many of these light orbs do I have now? Eight? I'm trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. What? Like, what? even sure what to say about that. The only thing that comes to mind is like, what? 
Why would the goddess statue be telling me that at all? Nostalgic fabric. Tough fabric bearing a nostalgic design. Looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Yeah, I misunderstood that when I got the first one I had from the stables. I thought that meant I needed one of those fabrics to make a paraglider. Not that I could, you know, alter the paraglider with the, that fabric. is a Korok up here. There was one in Breath of the Wild and there's one here now too. What do you know? Okay, is there... Shrine up here anywhere? I don't see one. So how am I supposed to get back up here? Besides just coming here manually every single time. Is that an enemy encampment? Or is someone living there now? Oh, wait a second. Those statues. Has this become a Yiga outpost? It has, hasn't it? Well, that kind of stinks. Well, as I said, it's about time to end the episode. We've gone on a good long while here. I did make it up to the Great Plateau, as I'd hoped, but unfortunately, there's it appears there's no fast travel point up here anymore. That is very inconvenient. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to make do, I guess. But anyway, uh, end of the episode. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, well, not too sure what I'm going to do. I managed to get up to the Great Plateau, as I'd hoped. And I filled in a bit more of the map. And oh, there's another of Misko's treasures over here. Maybe I'll go get that one next. And then there's another one over here. That seems like a good thing to do in the next episode. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you then.